Welcome back to the mysterious and unknown. Today, we're going to be talking about the mystery airships of the late 1800s. You heard that right, airships. A century before the first successful manned flight by the Wright brothers, reports of mysterious airships were appearing in newspapers all over the world. Stick around as we delve into one of the most fervent UFO sightings and barrage of reports in history. Mystery airships, or phantom airships, are a class of unidentified flying objects shrouded in mystery. Their existence was first brought to light by a barrage of sensational newspaper reports that swept across the western United States in late 1896 and early 1897. From this epicenter, their legend spread far and wide, eventually reaching every corner of the world. Researcher Jerome Clark suggests that the airship sightings that were reported throughout the 1880s and 1890s were a harbinger of things to come, a foreshadowing of the extraterrestrial piloted flying saucer-style UFOs that would come to captivate the world's imagination for generations to come. Reports of the alleged crewmen and pilots usually described them as human-looking, although sometimes the crew claimed to be from Mars. Some thought that the mystery airships were the product of some inventor or genius who was not ready to make knowledge of his creation public. However, those airships were far too advanced in the period. For example, Thomas Edison was so widely speculated to be the mind behind the alleged airships that in 1897 he was forced to issue a strongly worded statement denying his responsibility. At the time, there were numerous documented accounts of events that were rich in detail. These records provide valuable insight into the events that took place and are worth exploring. Let's examine some of the well-documented incidents from that time. The Sacramento Bee and the San Francisco Call reported the first sighting on November 18, 1896. Witnesses reported a light moving slowly over Sacramento on the evening of November 17 at an estimated 1,000-foot elevation. Some witnesses said they could see a dark shape behind the light. A witness named Lowry reported that he heard a voice from the craft and saw a light was mounted on the front end of the airship. Some witnesses also reported the sound of singing as the craft passed overhead. The November 19, 1896, edition of the Stockton, California, Daily Mail featured one of the earliest accounts of an alleged alien craft sighting. Colonel H.G. Shaw claimed that while driving his buggy through the countryside near Stockton, he came across what appeared to be a landed spacecraft. Shaw described it as having a metallic surface which was completely featureless apart from a rudder and pointed ends. He estimated a diameter of 25 feet and said the vessel was around 150 feet in total length. Three slender, seven-foot-tall, apparent extraterrestrials were said to approach from the craft while emitting a strange warbling noise. The beings reportedly examined Shaw's buggy and then tried to physically force him to accompany them back to the airship. The aliens were said to give up after realizing they lacked the physical strength to force Shaw aboard. They supposedly fled back to their ship, which lifted off the ground and sped out of sight. Shaw believed that the beings were Martians sent to kidnap an Earthling for unknowable but potentially nefarious purposes. This has been seen by some as an early attempt at alien abduction, it is apparently the first published account of explicitly extraterrestrial beings attempting to kidnap humans into their spacecraft. An account from Aurora, Texas, related in the Dallas Morning News on April 19, 1897, reported that a couple of days before, an airship had smashed into a windmill, later determined to be a sump pump, belonging to a Judge Proctor, then crashed. The occupant was dead and mangled, but the story reported that the presumed pilot was clearly not an inhabitant of this world. Strange, hieroglyphic figures were seen on the wreckage, which resembled a mixture of aluminum and silver. It must have weighed several tons. In the 20th century, 
unusual metallic material recovered from the presumed crash site was shown to contain a percentage of aluminum and iron admixed. The story ended by noting that the pilot was given a Christian burial in the town cemetery. In 1973, Newfin investigators discovered the alleged stone marker used in this burial. Their metal detectors indicated a quantity of foreign material might remain buried there. However, they were not permitted to exhume, and when they returned several years later, the headstone, and whatever metallic material had lain beneath it, was gone. The accounts and stories only provide a glimpse of the unidentified incidents. Numerous reports were made during that period, and each one has the potential to be developed into a separate video. So, what do you think about the mystery airships of the late 1800s? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video interesting, be sure to explore one of our other videos on unexplained mysteries, as there's so much more to discover. Click on one of the videos, and as always, thank you for watching.